This is CBS 5 News, telling it like it is. What you like on Facebook says a lot about your personality and even your IQ. The details on what your social media habits really mean. A new study out of Cambridge University says what we like on Facebook says a lot about us. In fact, it can reveal quite accurately our race, political leanings, even how smart we are. CBS 5's Heather Moore joins us live to explain all new tonight at 10. And Heather, let's be honest here. I mean, almost every one of us has clicked on like on something on our own Facebook pages. Yeah, apparently we're liking a lot of things these days. Seeing it's something we do almost every time we log on to Facebook. We hit the thumbs up or the like button on pictures, pages, a lot of things. But it turns out something we think is pretty meaningless holds a lot of meaning for advertisers. Yeah, very big deal. We love likes. <laughs> we like music and spring training, good food and cool clothes and those little thumbs up are a pretty big deal. I love a like. <laughs> we have clients that will base a success off of a like or a comment or a share. Bailey Carlin works in advertising and marketing and says a simple click of the mouse isn't so simple. In reality it's something that you're revealing without really knowing it. A new study out of Cambridge says taking a look at all of the things you like says something very specific about you. The more likes that you have the more assumptions that we can make. Assumptions with great accuracy about race, religion, sexual orientation, and even your IQ. The study used 58,000 volunteers and showed those who liked Colbert, Curly Fries, and Morgan Freeman's voice are more intelligent than those who like Sephora, Lady Antebellum, and Bret Michaels. Some of them obvious, others not so much. Once you break it down with these algorithms, it looks like based on this article, they're able to try and tell you whether or not you use drugs, for example, if you're gay or straight, if you're black or white. Dr. Michael Yasinski says that's where things get kind of sketch, and a lot comes down to stereotypes. Seems like a lot of steps in the wrong direction. I mean, that feels like what we're trying to get away from, from a society, and we're going to start labeling people again. Yasinski also worries that the information generated may soon become a screening tool for potential employers. They will take a data report that takes a look at all of your online behavior, sites you visited, the likes on Facebook, the posts you do. It's going to equate into things like you're a hard worker or not a hard worker, you're creative or not creative. And these types of predictions only work with a ton of likes so you can get more of the bigger picture. Those in the study averaged 170 page likes, which is why the accuracy was so impressive in many of those categories. Catherine? Very intriguing, Heather. Thank you. Well, you